Alephium is doing its biggest upgrade ever. It's a game changer for this L1 with its Roan upgrade happening on June 12th. Really, just in a couple days here, this upgrade is going to go into effect on Alephium, which I think is one of the best L1s you can be looking at for just something unique. Alephium is bringing a lot of concepts from Ethereum's account-based model and Bitcoin's UTXO model and bringing them together in the stateful UTXO. And I think that this community has the potential to kind of thrive like a lot of ETH L2s last cycle or a lot of Ethereum based EVM products last cycle. So I'm a big Cardano holder, but I like to diversify out of Cardano. And one of the things I'm invested in is Alephium. I wanna talk about this Roan upgrade and the three giant things that it's doing to its network with this upgrade here in a couple days on June 12th that you should be looking for if you're a potential Alephium holder or if you are an Alephium holder. One of the major reasons why I like Alephium so much is it does bring some of those UTXO concepts from Bitcoin and Cardano and the accounts based model of Ethereum. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Now, the ecosystem still has a lot of development to do, a lot of dApps and a lot of NFT projects and a lot of traders. You know, it's a newer L1. This is going to be its first proper bull cycle. So really, if you want to find something new to invest in, this is one of those chances. But what makes Alephium so special to me is that I think that a lot of the Ethereum people might look to find new L1s or find L1s that are bridged to Ethereum, which Alephium has a bridge to Ethereum. And so it has the potential to bring this, this Ethereum-based liquidity over to a new version of an L1, a new crypto blockchain that's doing things a little bit differently. And it has a unique selling point with stateful UTXOs. All of this is outside of the Roan upgrade that's gonna happen here in a few days. With the Roan upgrade, plus all of these other metrics, I think Alephium is poised to have a game-changing upgrade over this next month. And the, the, the three big things you wanna look out for in this upgrade are its gasless transactions, its reduced block times, and its minimal storage fees. Now I wanna break all these things down. You really need to know about it if you're an Alephium holder or a potential Alephium holder watching this video for the first time. This is not the first Alephium video I've made. I've made a couple in the past, so check those out if you also wanna learn some more about the, the network. But basically what these upgrades are, are enhancements to the network. The first one is going to be the block time reduction. Currently, Alephium runs on a 64 second block time, which means like every 64 seconds or basically every minute, a block is pushed to the, the network for consensus, right? The, all those transactions in the block are validated. Bitcoin runs on like a 10 minute block time or something like that. Ethereum currently runs on a 13 second block time. Things like Solana and those really fast blockchains like uh, Ton, or Tron, those are trying to get down to like one second block times, just to give you a little bit of reference. But Alephium currently runs on a 64 second block time. They started with this because it's fast, but also safe. You know, it's 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 recognized as a, an area where, yeah, every minute you can have a block and security is not gonna be a risk and transactions are gonna go through and the nodes can handle it. What they've been doing the past year though is recognizing that, hey, Ethereum does 13 second block times and we wanna get faster. We wanna have faster trying to, transaction finality, we wanna push blocks faster, and we wanna give users and developers a better experience because transactions are going through faster, more things can happen on the network with quicker speeds, and it really allows DeFi and development to thrive when you're a little bit faster, right? Especially, you know, Alephium has a unique selling point, but when you have Ethereum and the Ethereum L2s getting into those 13, 10, one second block times, or CASPA, 10 blocks per second, right? You gotta find a way to be a little bit faster over time. That's what Alephium is doing here. Now, the reason they chose 16 second block times when Ethereum is doing 13 seconds is that they want to be secure, they wanna be safe. And what they're saying with 16 seconds is that, hey, Ethereum does 13. If we back it off just a little bit, we have all the security uh, theories that Ethereum has, but now we're just a little bit more secure. Alephium could have said, hey, we'll do 13 as well. We'll do 12, but now they're starting to push the envelope and push a little bit further than Ethereum. So what they're trying to do is say, hey, instead of 64 seconds, we can get to 16 and still have a lot of those security measures and theories and like proof of concepts that Ethereum has at 13. So we're gonna be a little bit safer, pull it back to 16 and still push you know, four times the amount of transactions that we're doing currently when we move to 16 compared to 64 seconds. There's some risk with going lower than 16 seconds. Um, it's gonna put a lot of stress on the network nodes. It's gonna put a lot of stress on the computers. It's gonna put a lot of stress on developers and users and all these transactions trying to push through at one time. So when you have that kind of stress, you also are prone to security vulnerabilities. When you're trying to push transactions through and blocks through so quickly, they're not actually getting finalized one after another. They might run into some misordering or some miscalculations or some transaction failures. So 
Alephium's pushing from 64 to 16 second block times. They're doing this by implementing a ghost protocol, which is basically like how the, the blockchain determines what's the longest blockchain or what's the actual blockchain, right? So they're doing the ghost protocol, which means greediest, heaviest object strategy, something like that, but it's basically it chooses the blockchain line that is the heaviest and is the longest, and that's how they're gonna use this 16 seconds to decide basically which blockchain is the actual Alephium blockchain. Because when you have all these, these blocks going so fast, it can get a little confusing. Ethereum uses this ghost protocol now. Uh, Casper uses a ghost protocol. Alephium is going to move to ghost protocol in order to pull off the 16 seconds. The second biggest thing that Alephium is doing in this upgrade is gasless transactions. Now we all heard of gas before, right? It's the boogeyman on Ethereum. You pay gas, you pay hundreds in gas, you pay thousands in gas to get an NFT worth a dollar, right? It's a waste of money. I think we all think that gas is a waste of money, but it's an essential part of a, a blockchain. You need to pay for your transaction. And what Alephium is trying to do with this gasless upgrade is they're trying to be able to allow gas flexibility. In my opinion, I don't think gasless is the right term. I think gas flexibility, where they're allowing the transaction fee to be paid by someone other than the user doing the transaction. When these gasless transactions go into effect with a Roan upgrade on June 12th, what will be allowed to happen is normal users will be able to do transactions like they currently do and pay their own transaction fee. But it will also allow for smart contracts to decide different ways of paying transaction fees. So it's, imagine if you're a decentralized exchange on Alephium and you decide, hey, I wanna give everyone a month off of transaction fees. The, the decentralized exchange themselves can decide to pay all those users transaction fees. So users can trade for, fee, for free basically with no fees. Um, if an NFT marketplace wants to give a certain NFT project the ability to go 50-50 on transaction fees, the NFT marketplace can use this gasless fee smart contract and pay half of all the transaction fees for an NFT project like uh, and all their holders. This is just a way that Alephium is trying to allow more flexibility, more usability, more incentives for users and companies on their blockchain to come together and have like more incentives. Gasless Feeless transactions does not mean there's no transactions. Somebody still has to pay the transaction, but it does allow for fee flexibility. So DEXs and NFT marketplaces and different teams running different projects or different users can flexibility can have flexibility when paying transactions, which is really the key here. The last major upgrade you need to know about in the Roan upgrade for Alephium happening on June 12th of this month, right? This month, in a couple days here, is that there is reduced minimal storage fees. So currently, if you're a developer on Alephium and you wanna run a smart contract, you need to lock up one ALF, one of Alephium's tokens, into that smart contract. Now, there's a couple of things that arise from this. One, developers need a lot of money, right? They need to have Alephium locked up, and Alephium, you know, it's trading between one and two and three dollars, right? So that's gonna be a big cost. Furthermore, there's only a certain number of, of ALF out there in circulation, so that means there's only a certain number of smart contracts that can be out there. It kind of limits network growth. So what the Alephium Roan upgrade has decided to do is move this fee from one ALF down to point one ALF. So basically re reduce it by a, a factor of 10. And so this is going to allow for one, developers to put out a lot more smart contracts with less money. And it's also going to allow for the maximum number of smart contracts to tenfold, which is great, right? You want more NFTs, you want more transactions, you want more smart contracts, you want more things. But this, the fact of locking still 0.1 alpha up in a smart contract, what that's still going to do is it's going to push developers to remove old smart contracts that are no longer needed. The reason that Alephium was locking one alpha before is because they don't want you know, chain bloat. They don't want all these old smart contracts with all this old Alephium sitting in there doing nothing. They want developers to remove those smart contracts, pull the Alephium out, and put it back into the ecosystem. So changing this from one alpha to 0.1 alpha is going to make that transition so much smoother, allow for a lot more smart contracts, a lot more development, a lot more users, and a lot more things to happen with less money, and then still keep the, the blockchain light and remove old smart contracts as they become old. Now that we've talked about the upgrade a little bit, the last thing I wanna talk about is Alephium price action. I'm a holder of ALF, I also hold AN, you know, the DEX on Alephium, but I've been watching some things, watching the chart, watching some tweets, and I saw a really awesome tweet we're gonna put on the screen right here about Alephium price action right now. Just in April 
of this year, basically like a month and a half ago, Alephium was at $3, 53 cents, right? It was dominating and Twitter was hyped and all the holders were hyped. I know I was hyped, right? Today, Alephium's sitting around that $1.60 range. So people are thinking, you know, what's going on with Alephium? A lot of people are probably, you know, concerned about their bag or just questioning things. It's down 50%. What's happening? What's going on? This tweet right here is an awesome representation of what can happen in a very short amount of time. This person is calling for a $20 ALF and they're saying, hey, we missed out on this. We missed out on this. We sold here and here in 2021 and we missed out, but we're not gonna do that with Alephium again. This is kind of how I'm feeling in the Alephium community currently. I wish I had more funds to buy more Alephium and more AN and all this stuff, right? And so I wish I had more to do with that with, but I'm currently holding Alephium and I think that the price action right now is just doing what it's doing. It's doing a little bit of accumulation. I feel this way in my Cardano position as well. Things are just doing what they're doing. And before we know it, things could start to rapidly change. So this person's tweet right here is just something I wanna share with you. It's the sentiment kind of around how people are feeling in the Alephium community. And depending on how you're feeling at this stage in the market cycle, just remember other people are feeling the same way as you about your bags alephium this is its first cycle you know there's a lot of risk reward to have here definitely analyze what you think is happening in your position but this is one awesome tweet i wanted to share with you all right that's the alephium upgrade that's what's happening right now i'm an alephium holder i'm also an a in holder and you know i'm just going to sit back and watch and let these things happen I think over the next six to 12 months, we could be in a very good position. I think that way about my Cardano bags, my Lithium bags, uh, I got you know Bitcoin and Ethereum and a lot of things. I think the next six to 12 months uh, are going to be the payoff time. We've been very patient here in the crypto market. A lot of you have been very patient, which is good. I think we're gonna have to have a little bit more patience, but you know eventually things are either gonna go up or down, right? We're not gonna be going sideways anymore. So. Hopefully you're in Alephium and watching this upgrade happen. I think this is gonna be a big month for Alephium. And you know, upgrades don't always transition to price increases. Sometimes it takes a few months for the price to actually increase with the upgrade. So I wouldn't be shocked if price doesn't do something drastic as this upgrade rolls into effect. But I think this is the upgrade. This is what you need to know. This is the blockchain you're investing in. And these are the good things that, that are happening on top of this chain, all right? Other than that, I hope you really enjoyed the video and we hope to see you in the next one. Drop a comment down below if you like Alephium and you're holding Alephium and you're excited for the Roan upgrade, all right? See you in the next one. Have a good day.